Welcome back. Let's take a look at this quiz problem from one of the games I played yesterday. Or recently. I don't know exactly when, but... When I make mistakes, the website sometimes provides these puzzles to me. Um, so here... I played one of these moves when I played this game. The other one's the correct move. So the one move is bishop takes silver. The other is rook takes gold. Well, in the game, I took this gold general, and I got whopped. Um, because my opponent took the bishop, threatening to take my rook next. So this capture, I think, is actually the correct move. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. This is a highly contentious situation. But... Allowing them to take my bishop allows them to attack my rook and my other rook at the same time. Whereas if I move the bishop, now they can only take my rook here and they cannot threaten. I mean, they could threaten the bishop. or they could, If they take this bishop, uh, then I could move this rook away to safety or I could even sack it here. And then this gold is up for the taking whenever I want it. I just got all my wires crossed when I played this last time, so I'm glad uh, Shogi Wars gave me the chance to correct my error. With that, let's play some games, shall we? So, I seek 10 minute games. We'll do our best. Good luck. As Senta, I think I'll play third foul rip today. And as Gota, we might try out uh, Top Go 2. Ofu again. It was good fun the last time we did it. Alright. I chickened out once more. I protected this point, anticipating that the opponent would target it. And now with the opponent going toward the corner. Oh. Well then. Uh, interesting. Let me just continue my castle. Hmm, I was afraid of this. Uh, I don't really know how best to combat it. Alright, but they're not seeking to put the king into the corner. They're playing a uh, twin gold castle. Which is fine by me. It's not one of those that I'm the most afraid of. Uh, Anaguma is one I fear. It's just kind of nebulous to me. Um, Alright, so... Ew. I don't know what to make of this position. If I push this pawn stuff happens. I mean, if I want to try to play for an advantage, I need to use all my pieces, so let's get the bishop somewhere useful. Um, Alright, so now my bishop's no longer protected, nor is the square it stands on. The opponent sees a moment of weakness, I'm not sure that they see correctly. That's interesting. Um, my knight and my lance cannot retreat, but you know what can retreat? Uh, actually, well, yeah, now let's do this. This would be the safe, same thing to do. Okay, I could have seen that. This is actually the first time I've seen that particular tactic, where they check and then take the bishop. Um, so yeah, now I understand on yet another mechanism that can be used to do an attack. Um, I'm a bit mad about it, but uh, on the bright side, we learned a new technique. If we just lose a thousand games, we'll le learn a thousand new techniques, I suppose. Um, but yeah, this is horrible. Let's make some attempt to not let this horse immediately re-enter the game. 
Damn, this is such a bad position. Since I gave away a bishop for naught, and my castle is shattered. Um, so, not an easy position. Um... I don't have any idea what to do with this. I guess I could try to reinforce this castle from the front. So, uh, yeah. They are out of pawns, because they've collected three pieces for, like, two pawns. Um, yeah, again, I'm not really pleased with that outcome at all. But there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I don't have a time machine. Alright, I also don't have a target, which is perhaps more concerning than just, I don't know. We'll make that a target. If we don't have a target, we'll make one. Um... Well, this is also horrible. I took the longest route to activate my rook. And this is also one that lets the opponent very easily activate theirs. If they drop their rook on the back rank, what can I do to stop it? Not much. I mean, I could bring my silver over here, giving up this knight. Hmm. Oh, dear. Not enough. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll try to use the silver. Well, there's even this fork. This knight gold fork is right here whenever they want it. But what can I do? We'll continue fighting. Mm-hmm. Um, let's cut off the horse and open up another hole in their position. Yeah, this gold still continues to hang, but I'm trying to aim for their king, so maybe it's fine. Oh, fun. That's a really good pawn drop. Um, hmm. I just... <laughs> what can I do? That's such a good drop. Um, I'm going to continue aiming for the king, pretending that everything is fine. If I just pretend extremely well, maybe things can be fine. Oh, I cut off the square my silver could use in the event that they take here. Hmm. Yeah, it takes a really, really strong imagination to try to convince oneself that this is not absolute... I don't know. Only Sith speak in absolutes. Mm -hmm. Well... I get to attack, don't I? Let's take this chance. Because it's the only chance I'm ever going to get. I'm surprised they allowed it. Um, I hate doing this. Because that trades away my only attacking piece. But... Again, options are... Oh. Well, okay, I missed that. Um, Maybe it doesn't matter that I missed that. In two senses. One, maybe I didn't need this gold general. But two, um, maybe the king is actually kind of important. <sighs> How many pieces can I hang in one game? We're going for a record here, aren't we?
Yeah, they just push this pawn and I have no attack. Much as I'd like to have one, I just don't have one. Wanting and having are not the same thing. Alright, let's attack the horse. And with tremendous amounts of luck, maybe I'll have something here. Unlikely, but maybe. If horse takes rook, gold takes, knight drop, king up, and my king runs to the center and gets checkmated by all these pieces. Um, oh, they changed the move order. That's even more effective, I imagine. I don't have a checkmate. Yeah, okay, thanks for the game. We're not going to drag this out any further. Alright, one down. Two to go. Let's do it. Good luck. All I know is I'm preventing this knight sacrifice. <laughs> like, I saw on the opening, uh, the pre-game animation thing, it flashed Demon Killer. I'm like, huh, how about no Demon Killer today? So, that was uh, about the extent of the thought that went into uh, designing this opening. Huh, wait... I'm trying to make this kind of sort of look like a familiar shape, but it's not easy. Okay, if I take here, pawn drop, I take... They're, they don't have pawns in hand at that point. If they had one more pawn in hand, this would be dangerous. Uh, I don't want to take the gold, do I? Alright, well... Both players have had some chance to attack here. Um, yeah, I guess this is provocative. Wait a second. This basically forces their rook out. Because if silver takes, I get a gold general. But if the rook... Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot they have a knight. Forgot about the knight. All right. Get one step ahead of myself. And they're going to pin my rook, and I'm totally fine with that. That's not a pin. You really, If you wanted the rook, you could have had it. Um, okay. Well, mutual attack, here we go. We are now in the phase of the game. Don't it's an end game. I forgot they have a pawn in hand. Um... I thought I was completely winning on account of Rook Takes Knight being such a potent threat. Oh, well, they ignore it, so we're going to take this. Um, I think they've overestimated their attack. There are reasons, but the reasons are not valid. There are reasons to be very optimistic about your attacking chances against an opponent like myself here under very similar circumstances, but um, yeah, here it just, this that's not how this plays out. Thanks for the game. Alright, two down, one to go. What's going to happen next game? I don't know. Let's find out. Good luck. I get Santa again, so again I don't get to play uh, Bishop on... Oh. Yeah, you don't get to play this a tempo down, do you? 
Um, or am I confused? Uh, what's the circumstance under which you play uh, that? I don't recall. I think this is playable despite having no effect. Um, mm -hmm. well, I'm confused. I don't know what to do here. Is this fine? Apparently. Um, this position I think I've seen before. So if pawn takes, I can drop bishop 5-5. Five five. Uh, but they also have the parallel diagonal bishop drop here. And I don't fully know how that plays out. Um, but now if they drop here, I can drop there. Okay, now we're in a more normal-ish sort of thing. Um... So I've built something sort of like Boat Castle, but leaving out, I don't know, what I guess is an important part of the boat. Um, I thought this was fine. So if they advance, I can take here and then take there. I think this bishop drop is extremely heavy. And usually it's not the greatest idea in the world. Maybe here it's fine. Maybe I should have taken this first. Um, hmm. So for one move, I cut off my own rook, but forever, I cut off this bishop. Um, I guess they can protect the bishop's head easily enough. And this is perhaps ridiculous aggression. I just... Maybe they could push this pawn, but I think this weakens their position significantly if my bishop can weave in and out the further they advance stuff. So Anyway, my plan was to kick this and see where it goes. So let's stick to that plan. Okay, force this bishop to retreat. Um, let's try to get my king to safety. I'll try to protect the edge file this way. Maybe I should push this first before doing some of that? I don't think so, however. 
Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to protect the square and then use my silver to chase down the bishop. Now, of course, this doesn't work the way I imagined. Um, that, like, they could actually try to exploit this pin. Do I let the lance go for two pawns in initiative? I think I do. Two pawns plus initiative is not nothing. It's sad, but it's not nothing. And a bad deal might be a good one. Better than no deal. Alright. Let's see it. Such violence. Maybe I could have exchanged bishops here. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Do I save my bishop? Probably. Um. I don't know. Actually. Like, the rook's an easy target, sure. Um, yeah, let's save the bishop. Oh, this is hanging. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is game one all over again. I'm like, hey, this is safe, right? How safe are we? All right. There is no such thing as a safe position in this game, is there? Um, go fun. How do I attempt to recover this? This is so bad. Alright, let's attack. Attack is always the answer, right? Um, Alright, so we're hitting this point. They could just reinforce this point. And then I have to come up with another idea. Or they could not reinforce it and let me attack. Um, but who would do that? I mean, I guess their king's actually probably pretty safe behind this three general plus rook castle. Reinforcement seems a bit unnecessary in that stage. All right, let's try to make this work. Mm -hmm. mm, they don't have another knight. Lucky me. Um... Oh, <laughs> yeah, against my extremely heavy defensive drop, they just drop a pawn. I'm like, well, crud. 
That's not easy for me to counter. Um, all right, fine, this is hanging. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to try to make exchanges on this square more profitable before doing the fork. But, um, yeah, this is not looking good. On the other hand, what are they attacking with? So while my shelter might be horrible, their attack might also be sad. Yeah. Kind of need to use that. Hmm. What can I do? That's such a lame attempt on my part, but I think necessary. So horse takes pawn as possible. Yeah, this is possible too. Um, I thought I had a clever rejoinder. Uh, it's not really that clever now that I look again at it. All right. Yeah, you get this. I can't stop that. Hmm. Am I checkmated? No. I'm fine. Ish. What an uncomfortable position. The silver drop is the threat. And all I have to do is stay out of check. Hmm. Nifun. Well, you baffled me, sir. Well done. I thought I would be able to drop the silver here, but you found one move which prevents me from doing that. So I actually have to play some sort of defense, I think. And then drop here or here or something next.
Hmm. Oh, is this wrong? Maybe I needed to drop the gold there. Oh, that's sad if it is wrong. Because I had such a good chance here. Um. Hmm. What? Thanks for the game. Well played. Ah, that was a tough one. Practice your checkmates, folks. I keep saying it. Um, um, oh, all right. Anyway, yeah, I keep saying practice it, because that's a skill that's going to pay off at the times that it most matters when it pays off or not. So if you're super attached to your game results and you want to improve quickly, that's one thing you can do is practice as many checkmates as you can get your hands on. It'll make these timed situations simpler. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.